Hey, welcome back everybody. We're gonna go gambling today. Just starting right off in New Vegas. Anyway, since I've got nine luck, I can gamble pretty much any machine here and make money instantly. But, it's it's generally fastest for me to just do blackjack. I'm not gonna let, make you sit through it, just, uh, I'll just fill you in once I'm done. That, on some highlights. Now, every casino has a limit to how much you can earn off of them. The Vicky and Vance here has wow, a limit of only 2,500. Open this place back up. Here's a little something on the house. But every time you hit a quarter of the way, or or half or three quarters, you get a free compl complimentary uh, prize out of it. In this case, it's just a couple extra chips, but it's something. You're doing great. Keep on spending money. Hopefully we'll get some extra action in here. And a free stealth boy. You're the luckiest player I've ever seen. Keep up the good work in here. And that's what I was going after here. Reinforced leather armor. Compared to my old leather armor, it's got 10 DT instead of 6. Plus it looks sweet. Oh, guess we'd better see it when it when we're outside in better light. Sorry, you just went too much. We can't let you play here anymore. And that's it. 2,500 chips later in only 10 minutes. Really quick way to make money, but it's a one shot. Cap. Play. And now we're done with Prim. Because there's really not a reason to come back here. Alright, now that we're out in better light, let's check out that reinforced leather. Pretty sweet. Now, we're actually not going to move on just yet. Normally I'd go head south and head towards Nipton because that's where you need to go to continue the quest, but... I've got a little unfinished business in this area first. Alright, here we are. Just north of the NCR Correctional Facility is this area. The Hidden Valley. Hidden Valley Bunkers, I think it's called. Yep, Hidden Valley. You might notice the giant sandstorm everywhere. That's normal. You might also notice that it's a lot darker in here than outside. That's also normal. It's a it's a feature, not a bug. What this is is an old military base, military bunker. Most of it is ruined, but there's four bunker entrances. Let's check the local map. Four bunker entrances scattered around the facility. Three of them have random loot and not much else behind locked doors. One of them has a secret. And all of them are surrounded by scorpions. Now it's easy to get lost in this area, what with all of the sandstorms, at night anyway. During the day it clears up a bit, but the bunker you're looking for is this one over on the left, left side of everything. The more western side. You can tell you're at the right one because it's got that stump over, over the top of it. Now there's a number of ways through this door. 
as you can tell. You can pick it if you have a hundred lockpick. One of your companions lives here and will let you... One of the possible companions lives here and will let you in if you get on her good side. If you come down here at exactly the wrong time, you'll run into a patrol that's on its way out. But I've only ever gotten that to work once, and that was by accident. And, but, there's one more way to get in. You want to head towards the east side of the valley. Down here. See where this lighter area goes out? That's a pass. You don't want to go all the way through that pass through the mountains, because doing so you'll run straight through Scorpion Gulch, and that is not somewhere you want to be at a low level. Giant red scorpions can shrug off just about anything you throw at them at this level. But head through the, the northernmost break in the fence on the east side. There's going to be a scorpion or two still. But, no landmarks. I've made a terrible mistake. This is the wrong way. Too far south. Yep, I want this break in the fence up here. How did I make that shot? Now what we're heading for is, you can glimpse it through the mountains there a little bit, is a, uh, is a radar and radio antenna array up there. We're not going to be going through it because it's filled with super mutants who will beat the crap out of me this early in the game. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm spotted. Time for the heavy weapons. Oh, centaurs, why are you so disgusting? Make me want to scrub myself with acid. Uh-oh. Eddie, what are you shooting at? Okay. There's one over here that spotted us. Now, I'm pretty sure centaurs used to be people. But they're horribly mutated and gross, and I don't want to touch them. I've got some right away in here somewhere. Hey, a b body over there. Rad X and right away. Take a couple rad X and hope it lasts. Red X will keep the radiation from overcoming me, mostly. But... Only got a little bit of time here in this crater. Now what we got here is a Brotherhood of Steel patrol that's going to do a little bit of problem. I'm going to leave their armor here because I don't have power armor training, so it's just dead weight right now. And I won't get power armor training until pretty late in the game. But I will take everything else. 
including a mission holotape with a password on it. And a couple of laser rifles. And now let's get Adel out of here. Because it's never a good idea to hang around in radioactive craters. Oop. Last one. Yep, just right up there is the base. And it's crawling with super mutants, so... I'm not gonna mess with it. Back to the bunkers. Alright, here's the right bunker. Now let's see what that holotape says. Password, better part of Valor. Stay where you are. I'm sending someone up to meet you. Oh, goody! Do I get a prize? I'd say the heavily armed paladins are, is a no. Definitely don't want to fight those guys. Those are Gauss rifles. And over They're everything you're carrying. some of the weapons most damaging ammo, weapons in the game. Everything. I want you stripped down to your underwear. Jeez, at least buy me a drink first. I told you what to do. Strip off your clothes and equipment or face summary execution. Will you comply? Take it all off and hand it to me. Then come inside and through the door at the rear of the chamber. Paladin Ramos is waiting for you. Yay! I met the Brotherhood of Steel! They aren't very nice. Yep, in my skivvies. Where did you learn that password? And tell the truth, because I'll know if you're lying. An interesting story. It may even be true. Under normal circumstances, your story wouldn't make any difference. You'd be dead already. Lucky for you. Probably. Elder McNamara wants to meet you. So follow me, closely, or you'll be killed. Okay. I've been informed that you bring us ill tidings, stranger. Care to elaborate? I applaud your commitment to your own word, though it saddens me to hear of the fate of our comrades. You took an extreme risk in coming here. My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. The security of this bunker is my foremost concern, and I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider who can accomplish certain tasks, some basic, some a bit more involved. An NCR ranger has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top, for example. I want him driven off. Understood? Sure. Very well. I'll be interested to see how thoroughly and efficiently you carry out your mission. Paladin Ramos will escort you back to the bunker's entrance and set you loose. Notice that I said loose, not free. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley. Until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. To underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. Wander off and it will detonate. Focus on your mission and you'll be fine. You know, this is actually the one of two times in this game... Hold on. One of only... One of two times in this game where an, a Brotherhood of Steel Elder kidnaps you, strips you naked, and then puts an explosive collar on your neck. You wouldn't think that would be something that would happen very often, but, well, there you go. Oh, 
Now the reason the Brotherhood wants the NCR Ranger gone is because they're kind of at war with the NCR. There was a kind of a misunderstanding. They'd taken over this uh, this solar power plant for reasons, and the NCR wanted it, and they said no, and the NCR said, okay, but we've got a bunch of guys, and they said, fine, we'll just kill all your guys, and then they didn't. And they almost all died. So that's where they're hide why they're hiding in a bunker now, and the NCR is uh, roaming as they please. Kind of sad. The Brotherhood of Steel is kind of the most iconic faction of Fallout. Doop dee doop dee doop in a bunker. This one's got some explosive setup, but no trip wires. But hey, since I've got at least 30 explosive skill, I can disarm those. Which is very nice. Grenade bouquets hurt a lot when they explode. Thought you'd sneak up on me, you filthy powder ganger? Huh. <laughs> got some stones on you, son. I like that. What can I do for you? Uh, I have to get out now of here. Why would I do that? You see, see, if I tell him that one, the Brotherhood doesn't like that and comes in to kill us both. So lie it is. You've seen that with your own two eyes? God damn. I knew Cook's gang passed through these parts about that frequently, but I didn't know they hold up here. Be a rude awakening to find 15 of those merciless bastards looking down at me snoozing on my bedroll. Yep, I'd be better off setting up an ambush along one of their routes to catch stragglers. Bye, dude. Also don't want to fight him because he's got... A good weapon and good armor. A lot better than what I've got. Gonna steal some of the stuff he left behind and be on my way. Stand back from the door. The elder's eager to hear your report. Doop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doop. How did you resolve the situation with the ranger? Gone. Why did he leave? Yes, you exploited his fear of powder gangers very effectively. The collar includes a microphone, you see. Part of the test. He'll keep his distance, setting ambushes, never suspecting that these bunkers house something far more dangerous to him than criminals. Well played. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. There, that's better, I hope. Now that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that I would like to discuss with you. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, if you end up betraying us, we will know it. And there will be no mercy. And that's all it takes to get the run of the bunker. Seems kinda easy if you ask me, but what do I know? Bunker's kinda small down here. There's some living spaces, a firing range, and that's about it. Next level down has some labs and workshops, but not a whole lot here. Two hours of weapons training every morning. It is a good way to You've start You've been the outside. Day. Is the NCR really still hunting us? Subject E, diagnosis complete. Oh good, I did trigger it. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was cancelled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Our former elder Elijah was obsessed with new technology. That's yep. why we were at Helios in the first place. Eddie comes from the East Coast Enclave, and he was sent all the way to the West Coast. Long trip for a little eyebot. Thing is, if you he, 
he has recordings that trigger based off of certain dialogue, usually references to military bases or advanced technology. This is a good place to trigger one of them. And you only need to trigger it twice to finish his, finish his uh, personal quest. That's part of the reason why I decided to come here to the bunker early on. The other reason is because you can access their their uh, weapon storage pretty early. When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that... However, I will not force you to help us. What do you say, out? Basically, he just wants us to find the missing Brotherhood patrols. I already... like the one I already found. There's two more, and they're both... Both of them are dead. Then I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. And that's why I came down here. Opens up the... Opens up the armory to me. I can't get the really nice weapons like, you know, Gauss so, rifles and stuff. You're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around. Ah, subplot. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. This guy doesn't like the elder and thinks chapter. he'd be a better elder. I, think we might be able to help I disagree. I don't know what... Are you willing to listen? If you change your mind, though, come... You can... You can have the current elder deposed and replaced with him, but... There's no way to make peace with the NCR and the Brotherhood that way. So if you side with the NCR, you have to destroy the You're Brotherhood. Watched, so don't get any ideas. Not fun. Anyway, come over here to the firing range. Dude, that uses five microfusion cells a shot. How do you have that much ammo? The word came down from the Elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares. As if I didn't have other matters on my mind. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff. What do we get? Take a look. Ooh, ballistic fist. Nice. Grenade machine gun. LMG. Nice. See, this is why I like coming here early. All of this stuff here is in really terrible condition, except for the Gunrunner's Arsenal items. But, this is all... Some of this stuff is end-game weaponry. Uh, ballistic fist I'm not doing unarmed, and I can get better for Veronica. The, the companion that uses unarmed weapons. So I'm just gonna grab a light machine gun and do some trading. Okay, quick point before I finish trading. This is also a good place to get some rather rare ammo types. 
4570 government and 50 mg are some of the rarest ammos you can get and 50 mg explosive is one of the most expensive per round you can get period it's also really nice and it's fun but that's from a much later date thanks I'm not going to be doing any side quests for the Brotherhood of Steel right now. I can do those later. Right now, I kind of want to show off the, the gun I just got. The light machine gun. Based roughly off of the M240. It's, uh... It's a lot more powerful than what I have or have ammo for. It's also really hard for me to hold steady because it requires a hundred, a hundred uh, gun skill and eight strength to keep steady. I'm not going to be using it much, but it's nice, nice to have. You know, just in case. And actually, I think that's just about where I'm going to call it a, an episode right now. That's real. That's really all there is in this general area of the map at, at least on this side of the mountain range right here so next episode I'm going to be heading for Nipton and I'll see you then thanks for watching everybody see you next time